Hey guys, Ray from loveyourrv.com and I'm kind of finalizing the last bits and pieces before our, our trip south and one thing I'm going to do is install this new backup camera uh, for the back of the Cougar. Um, if you remember two years ago I think it was I installed the, the Taddy Brothers uh, backup camera system and I was pretty happy with that. It uh, had a good signal and allowed me to see everything that was going on behind the rig. Um, I didn't really use it much for backing up, but I loved it for a rear view while we were going down the, the highways. So, um, now that we got the new truck, I thought it was a good time to take this company called Haloview up on their offer of uh, sending out a free uh, system for me to uh, install and review. Um, the reason I want to switch, I'm fairly happy with the Taddy Brothers, but this has a couple features that I'm really intrigued with. Um, one of them is video recording. So you can put a little uh, SD card in this, a little flash card, and it'll record whatever's happening back there, which is could be really handy in case of an accident or something. And also the panel on it is this IPS panel, which nice spell sm spelling. <laughs> um, anyway, that means you can look at it from all angles. Um, you know, a lot of the LCDs, if you're off a bit. Uh, they're pretty blurry and uh, also it has uh, supposed to have a little better resolution you know two years of technology so let's take it apart and see what's in this kit this is the MC7108 which is supposed to be the, the latest greatest highest resolution one so we got a little card with all the specs looks like it does 720p HD resolution and 120 degree viewing angle. Owner's manual. There we go. So it looks like we got the display here. Let me peel everything out of there. Lots of bits and pieces. So here's the camera. It'll sit on the back of my RV. So it looks like uh, I'll be able to use the same mount I had before. It's much the same type of camera there and it's a metal case looks pretty well constructed I can see it has some LEDs in there for nighttime viewing and then it goes into the rig and needs to find 12 volts DC somewhere now I'll be able to utilize my existing uh, my existing uh, 12 volt supply that I had for the, the previous backup camera but I'll show you that when I install it how I'd um, wired that or you can go look up my old uh, <clears throat> video I'll put that in the, the link in the description so that's the camera that you mount in power and then we got the display so that's pretty, pretty nice okay and has a little hood on it block out sunshine there's a couple ways to mount it on the dash or you could mount it at this on the ceiling with this would go on there I think I'm gonna use this little thing here looks like they include a, a nice uh, adjustable mount I've got plans for that and then antennas you get your antenna for the, the camera and you got an antenna for the, the display itself because it speaks to each other wirelessly and it's quoting on here that it can do uh, 984 feet so I'll have to put that to the test and as far as hooking the display into the the truck um, I'm gonna go with a, a lighter socket here i will just plug in it's got a lighter socket plug there with an on off switch <clears throat> That's one thing I have to show you with the new truck. I got so many accessory items there. I had to buy a little splitter and plan my mounting of all these items on the dash. Uh, another accessory they they leave you is this: uh, if you want to hardwire it into your into your vehicle, and it even has trigger wires. Um, the thing can run up to four cameras at one time so you can trigger different cameras on say you, you go to back up it triggers a camera you turn it you put on a turn signal it'll trigger a different camera you know so it's it's up to you how you like to do that but 
I'm just going to keep it simple right now because I just want mine as a, as a rear view camera. So let's first go uh, hook up the, the, the backup camera onto the rig here. So here's my old camera mounted right in the center of the very back of the, the Cougar roof. And I had installed a junction box because I had a, a cell antenna as well, so I had a couple different wires going into the rig just to uh, keep the water out and everything and make a nice tidy install. So I've just taken that off. I also had mounted my uh, weather station on the top of the, the lid of the junction box, so that's what that's all about. Okay, so I'm just doing a test setup here. I've plugged uh, the new camera into the old uh, plug. First I took my multimeter and, and tested things out just to make sure it was the right polarity and actually it worked out great. It's the same uh, polarity center pin as positive and the, the outside connector is uh, negative. So we'll go inside and we'll turn on this new camera and then we'll uh, plug in the display and just do a quick test see what it looks like. Let's give you a quick look at my previous install where it came down through the roof there you can see the power wire for the camera and the white antenna cable that goes over and plugs into my uh, my uh, WeBoost uh, cell booster and then it comes around here and this is where I plug in my backup camera so I just plug it in when we're, we're ready to leave and and it just uh, powers the camera while we're going and then I, I can just unplug it when we get to a spot just so it's not drawing energy And just for a quick test, this is a 12-volt plug-in inside my RV, and this is the, the cable they provide. So this would just be like your 12-volt uh, your power cigarette lighter in your truck. And we'll just turn her on here and see what we get. There we go. So, I have to say I'm thoroughly impressed with that picture versus the, the older one. The older one I complained about uh, color saturation being off and kind of a, a pinkish hue to the picture, which is fine for a backup camera, but this one is really nice. You can see that truck coming in there. And the sharpness is a lot a lot more too, so and you can also see up here right now I'm actually recording. That's a little uh, recordable thing at the top right here is a little slot where I put my SD card in so I'm all happy with that so next step will be to uh, install this into the truck and give it a, a distance test here okay so just use the same screws as before mounted in the exact same spot ran the wire in here connected it up Oh, working okay. So I just got to kind of tidy up the wires, remount my lid and weather station, and then I can uh, go and regoop everything again with some uh, Dicor lap sealant, and I should be good to go out here. Here we go. Command Central in the new truck. <laughs> Trying to keep everything below the the hood line so nothing's blocking me. Um, this is where my GPS is mounted. Got a special little mounting bracket that a guy was kind enough to send me. He had a spare. Wasn't using it anymore. It mounts right in this little area where it's sort of meant for the RAM. So that's the Garmin GPS. And then like I said I put this on the bean bag of the Garmin. Made a mount there. So that's where my my backup camera is going to be. I have my tire monitor over the side. And then we also have the the backup camera here and then I got like a, a splitter for the, the three different uh, cords so it's kind of nice because I can take everything off if I want easily unplug everything and remove it from the dash and it's like it wasn't even there and then I have one cord coming down to the, the power outlet let's turn it on see how it some signal there there we go looking good looks like I have about two bars I just pulled in front of the, the trailer here Let's 
see what kind of uh, signal strength I'm going to have, but it looks like I got uh, one, two, three bars on the camera there. Uh, really nice display on there. Good color, good sharpness. Looks like it's going to be good, but driving down the road, I'll be able to look over there and see what's what's behind me pretty easy. Kind of don't like that antenna, but there's not much you can do. I'll have to see what the signal strength's like. I might be able to fold it down a bit out of the way or something. Might even get a better signal. We can play around with the orientation of that. But yeah, I kind of like that. There we go. Cool. Let's just drive around in behind there and let us uh, see us approaching the camera. Pretty truck. Well, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Kind of like that. Here's a closer look at what I did with the bean bag there. This thing had 3M tape on the back, so I just and I took apart my bean bag and stuck it on there. I think it's going to work out good. You can see it's pretty easy for me to get rid of everything. And go and hide it out of sight in there. Kind of get rid of it off the dash. So if we're in a sketchy area, park somewhere, we don't have a bunch of stuff. Look right out in the open. I don't know, I'll probably end up doing something different here. This is sort of the time being before I decide. But I'll probably take this apart at some point. Find some 12-volt uh, power and then come up through here. And I can just have a few lines coming out there, kind of clean it up so I won't have so many wires and stuff. Anyway, I think that's going to be a good uh, good camera. So what I'll do is uh, I'll come back in a few weeks after we've traveled south, probably a, you know a thousand or miles or so, and usually we go down the coast so we're going to go through a lot of torrential rainstorms and stuff, so that'll give the, the old camera up there a good test. It's supposed to be IP69K which is supposed to be about as waterproof as you can get so I'm hoping we don't get any water intrusion there and also test how the how the signal is um, my Taddy Brothers one was pretty solid on the road um, sometimes in in heavy urban areas it would black out because it runs on 2.4 gigahertz which is kind of a, a common signal for a lot of Wi-Fi Wi-Fi stuff to work on so anyway stay tuned until next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Happy trails, everyone. Cheers.